Damian Lillard and Stephen Curry are two of the best shooters of all time. However, they have had completely different careers. Today, we are swapping their careers and seeing how NBA history changes. And so Damian Lillard is drafted onto the Warriors, joining Steven Jackson and Monte Ellis in a stack 2009 draft class. It's Damian Lillard who takes home the Rookie of the Year, averaging 18.5 points and 5 assists. Unfortunately, missing out on the playoffs finishing almost dead last in the conference. And as we immediately enter the 2010s era, the Miami Heat Big 3 band together, and there will be a big challenge for us later in the video. The Warriors do land the fourth pick in the 2010 NBA draft, drafting Paul George with their fourth pick as Damian Lillard climbs up to an 80 overall in the offseason and averages a solid 19 points in season number two. Unfortunately though, the Warriors do miss the playoffs once again, but this gives them the chance to repeat history and draft Clay Thompson. After training with Team USA for the 2012 Olympics, Damian Lillard reaches an 87 overall, and a young kid from Davidson is making waves in the basketball community. Lillard averages 20 points for the first time in his career, and I have no clue how the Warriors missed the playoffs again. They finished with a great record, so Dame's first three seasons see zero playoff success. And in 2012, Stephen Curry is drafted to the Trailblazers, joining LaMarcus Aldridge. After winning a gold medal in 2012, Damian Lillard jumps to an 89 overall. In 2013, Steph starts off averaging 24 points and 9 assists, winning the Rookie of the Year. And finally, Damian Lillard makes an All-NBA second team, the Blazers playing a stacked OKC team, sadly losing in a hard-fought six games. Meanwhile, Dame finally makes it past the first round and would play the Thunder in round two. Unfortunately, going down 3-0 and getting destroyed in game four. And it looks like this Warriors team is just gonna fall short to the stack Thunder. And with Stephen Curry reaching an 87 overall after his first season, and Damian Lillard is now reaching 93 overall. Once again, Damian Lillard makes an All-NBA second team. And for the first time, we have a Stephen Curry versus Damian Lillard matchup. The more mature Warriors team goes up 3-1, but game five goes down to the final two minutes. But I can see Steph coming back in this. He's gonna pull a mid-range, but that's good defense. Paul George, he's gonna pull a three of his own and hits it to go up one inside. Pass out to Paxson, that's good defense, but he gets the foul and one for the Trailblazers. Screen comes. He gets the open three though and misses. That was a big three for Steph. They're playing great defense. Trailblazers have it. Klay Thompson gets the open mid range and knocks it down. It looks like the Warriors will be advancing in this series after a tight one. Next for Dame and the Warriors are the Spurs where Dame goes up 3-2, finishing them off comfortably in game six with ease. This time the series with the Thunder is close and in a huge game five, it goes down to the last minute in 30. 10 seconds for Clay. He's going to fade away for three and knock it down. Out to Clay, to this right guy. Okay, Lillard. Oh my God, it's stolen by Westbrook. And he's going to take it all the way for the dunk. Pump fake gets him up leaning. Good pass to Paul George for the dunk. Dane playing great defense on Westbrook. Tries to step back for three. Passes it to House Jr. That's good defense on the Warriors, but they hit it anyway. Here's the screen. Paul George fading away for three. No, it's a miss. Unfortunately, the Thunder finished the job in game six. In just his third season, Steph reaches the 90 overall mark, while Lillard reaches a 93 overall. And just like Stephen Curry in 2015, Damian Lillard wins his first MVP, while Steph makes his first All-NBA team, making the All-NBA third team. And once again, the Warriors and the Trailblazers match up. This time, the series is closer, with the Warriors still up 3-2. And the more established Golden State beat them in game six. Once again, taking out the Spurs, and finally the Warriors reach the NBA Finals, taking down the Timberwolves in a relatively easy six games. And the Warriors are finally advancing to the NBA Finals, where finally they play the Heat, who of course have a great big three. LeBron and the Heat going up 3-1, but the Warriors fight till the end, with game five going down to the wire. They double team yet again, but Paul George open for three, it's banging! Here comes the screen to Wolf and he gets the easy layup to go. Four seconds here. Three seconds, Lillard inside, mid-range shot, it's a miss. LeBron James inside, tough layup, it's good with 14 seconds remaining. It's Dame time, come on. Clay Thompson, mid-range shot, bang! With four seconds remaining. LeBron with it, three seconds left, two seconds, step back, mid-range, 
Oh my god, dude, this game is insane, bro. Damian Lillard reaches a 97 overall in 2015, while Steph goes up two overalls, reaching a 92. Damian Lillard doesn't win a unanimous MVP like Steph, but he does make the All-NBA first team, helping his team finish as the number one seed in the Western Conference. And this Warriors team starts off great, completely wiping out the Nuggets in round one. Once again, going up against Kevin Durant and Westbrook. Meanwhile, Steph has to go against a prime Kawhi Leonard, unfortunately still unable to get past round one, losing in five. The Thunder go up 3-1 as Westbrook and Kevin Durant ball out. However, the Warriors are able to win a huge game five and tie up the series in a massive game six. With a chance at repeating history, game seven is very close. The Warriors have a chance to repeat history. Out to Damian Lillard, back to Clay. Clay's pulling a three. Bang! Four point game with a minute and 45 seconds left. Clay Thompson with it, finds Lillard. Lillard, little mid-range bucket. Good defense from Dame, but Westbrook gets the easy layup. There's still a lot of time left in this game. Good defense from the Thunder, from the Warriors. Great defense, what a block from Paul George, that's huge. It looks like they're gonna foul, that's weird. Kevin Durant in the corner, pulls a three, it's off. And the Warriors are coming back from 3-1. Once again, playing the San Antonio Spurs, and it's back-to-back -back NBA Finals for the Warriors. This time, they're looking to win it. But they gotta go through LeBron first to get a championship. And you know exactly who's on this team. LeBron in his prime keeps the series very close with the Warriors locking in and performing great to go up 3-2. In game six, the Warriors once again take care of business, taking down the Cleveland Cavaliers. And finally, the Warriors vanquish LeBron James and Damian Lillard is an NBA champion as he's holding up that finals MVP trophy proudly. After blowing a 3-1 lead to them, Kevin Durant joins the Golden State Warriors. This possibly is the best team ever assembled with Paul George, Klay Thompson, Durant, and Damian Lillard. Meanwhile, Steph reaches a 93 overall, but I don't know if he's gonna be able to keep up. But first, I have to thank the sponsor of this video, Man. Manscaped. Manscaped is a men's lifestyle brand that is currently disrupting the men's grooming market. They are trusted by over 9 million men worldwide and are here to help with all your grooming needs. I personally had the Lawnmower 4.0, the elastic body hair groomer to keep your manhood looking trim, neat, and clean. It also has this little light so you can shave your balls in the dark. Manscaped was nice enough to send me the Performance Package 4.0, which comes with this neat little travel bag and comes with the Lawnmower 4.0 and also the Weed Whacker 2.0 Nose and Hair Hair Trimmer. This trimmer uses the powerful 7,000 RPM motor, upgrading from the first generation Weed Whacker to better whack your weeds. Not only that, but the performance package includes the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and the Crop Revival Ball Toner Spray to keep that downstairs area smelling great. Also in the package are these anti-chafing boxers, bringing your boxers to the next level. And with the discount code Ethandia, you can get 20% off plus free shipping. Let's get on with the video. In 2017, Lillard makes another first team All-NBA, while Steph comfortably makes the second team. Unfortunately for Steph, he finished almost last in the Western Conference, and this new God Squad is too good. Taking down the Timberwolves and then the Clippers in an easy six games, running through harder than the Rockets, and it's three NBA Finals in a row for Damian Lillard. Once again, playing LeBron James in the Cavs, going up 3-1 quickly and taking them out in a game five blowout. And the Warriors help Kevin Durant become a champion and a Finals MVP. In the 2017 draft, the Trailblazers land the second pick. The Trailblazers select like Jason Tatum straight from Duke. For the first time, Stephen Curry makes the first team All-NBA and he's averaging 28 points and 10 assists. Meanwhile, Damian Lillard is steady All-NBA second team. The Warriors shut down the Spurs in an easy five games. Meanwhile, Steph can't get past the first round, losing to the Clippers. The God Squad Warriors destroy the Timberwolves and once again smack the Rockets and it's back to the NBA Finals for this dynasty. Can the Cavaliers finally give us a fight? This time, the series is much closer with an important game five coming down to the final minute i mean lebron james is in his prime at this point kevin love inside gets the layup to go kevin durant guarded by lebron kevin durant inside gets the layup to go it's a one point game kyrie irving great pass to noel and he gets the dunk inside paul george what a block from nerland's noel and here's lebron now this is the best version of lebron 2018 storming down the court mid-range shot durant great pass to deadman for the dunk Lillard guarding Kyrie. It's a tough matchup. Kyrie inside. Misses. Damian Lillard. Paul George in the corner for three. It's good. Kevin Love's going to come set a screen. Kyrie. 
Pulls the mid range. Bang. Four seconds. Kevin Durant rises up for the win. It's a miss. In overtime, the Cavaliers get the win. And I'm surprised as the Cavaliers finish the job. In the 2018 offseason, Stephen Curry reaches a 95 overall. In 2019, Steph wins his first MVP, averaging 28 points and 9 assists, absolutely balling out. Meanwhile, the Warriors win in 5 games, and Steph is 1 game away from finally making it past round 1. But game 7 will go down to the wire. They also have Tatum, I always forgot. Malik Monk's gonna pull a 3 and knock it down. That's a big 3 for Monk, and he's a great addition to the squad. And finally, Stephen Curry and the Trailblazers are advancing to the second round. It's taken so long, man. And for the third time, it's Curry versus Dame. But the Warriors God Squad is too strong, taking a 3-0 lead and shutting them down in game four. In the conference finals, a prime James Harden fights against the Warriors, where game five is extremely close. James Harden with it. He's gonna pull a three this time and knock it down to go up five with the minute left. Here's KD. He is a little bit injured. Durant. Half spin, good pass to Jeffries. Gets him up leaning, but misses. DeAndre Jordan with the great defense. Oh my God, Klay Thompson with the huge steal. Durant down the other end, finds Dame. He steps out of bounds, what am I watching? And this is a huge win for the Rockets as they go up 3-2. Luckily, the Warriors tie up the series and win in seven against CP3 and Harden. This time playing the Raptors, who have a prime Kawhi Leonard. Golden State takes a 3-1 lead this time, though. It looks like the Warriors will be taking care of business. With the lack of cap space, the Warriors are not able to keep Kevin Durant. And at 28 years old, is back-to-back -back MVPs for Stephen Curry. Unfortunately, Lillard suffers his first tough injury, sadly missing the playoffs for the first time since 2012. But this opens up room for Steph, who beats the Rockets in five games. And for the first time making it past round two, beating the Pelicans. Not able to make the finals and falling short to the Kings. As we enter the modern era, Klay Thompson leaves the Warriors very surprisingly and Steph reaches a 96 overall. It's another MVP for Stephen Curry. He's the face of the NBA at this point. Unfortunately though, with Damian Lillard being injured for almost half the season, the Warriors have yet another unsuccessful season finishing in last place in the West. Curry faces LeBron for the first time, going up 3-2, where game six would be very close late in the fourth. Here's Tatum till Marcus is gonna pull a midi and banks it in. I guess Tatum wants this, these big moments. Jason Tatum on LeBron, pulls the midi and knocks it down. Lonzo inside, trying to get the big body on Steph and he gets it to go. It's a one point game here. LeBron playing that lockdown defense. That's great defense from LeBron and the Lakers have a chance here. LeBron James down the other end, all the way for the dunk. I don't know why Steph has not been taking these shots. No way Tatum taking this three, bro. You have Curry on your team, bro. Tatum rises up for three and knocks it down. Six seconds remaining. Here comes the screen into Tristan Thompson and he gets the easy dunk. And it looks like they're gonna be forcing seven. And with going back home for game seven, the Trailblazers win by 20 points, reaching the conference finals, taking down the New Orleans Pelicans in an easy five games. And finally, the Trailblazers are headed to the NBA finals, thanks to Stephen Curry and Jason Tatum facing Joel Embiid and the 76ers. 76ers quickly take a 3-2 lead. And it looks like the 76ers are just gonna take out Steph in the NBA Finals. But it was a great fight from this duo. After coming off injuries, Lillard drops to a 92 overall, while Steph reaches his peak at a 97, making yet another All-NBA first team. And for the third straight season, the Warriors missed the playoff. Meanwhile, Steph and the Trailblazers take down the Kings, and then the Grizzlies facing LeBron and the Lakers in the conference finals. This time, LeBron takes a 3-1 lead, smacking them in game five. After three rough seasons, a 35-year-old Dame drops to a 90 overall. Unfortunately for the Trailblazers, Stephen Curry gets injured, tearing his right Achilles. For the first time in a while, the Trailblazers missed the playoffs due to Stephen Curry's injury, and Dame finally makes the playoffs, but gets shut down by the Thunder. In the offseason, Paul George leaves the Warriors, and I don't know how many more years we have of Damian Lillard, to be honest with you. Meanwhile, Stephen Curry finally runs from the grind and joins an established Miami Heat team with Jimmy Butler, Tyler Hero, and Bam. Steph immediately makes an impact on the Heat, making the second team All-NBA. Meanwhile, Damian Lillard's bad luck continues. The Heat destroy the Hawks in an easy round one matchup and then playing Giannis in the Bucks taking them out in a tough six game series easily getting to the finals after beating the Orlando Magic 
and Stephen Curry helps the Miami Heat reach the NBA Finals. Going up against Jokic and the Denver Nuggets, and this Heat team goes up 3-2 and destroys them in a Game 6 blowout. And finally, Steph is an NBA champion and even gets his Finals MVP. With age, Damian Lillard drops to an 88 overall, while Steph is looking to go back-to-back. In 2025, it's another MVP for Stephen Curry. Meanwhile, it's another unsuccessful season for the Golden State Warriors. The Heat start their playoff campaign taking down the Cavs, sadly losing to Giannis and the Bucks in six games. And with Dame turning 38, he doesn't have much time left. At 34, Stephen Curry is still a first-team All-NBA member, and the Warriors take a loss to Luka and the Mavericks, while the Heat get upset in round one. After two rough seasons for Steph, they recruit Damian Lillard onto the Heat for one last dance. Stephen Curry drops to the All-NBA second team. He is 35, so that is expected. Luckily, this new duo on Miami runs through their first round matchup, but get into a seven game series with the Pistons. Game seven going down to the final minutes. I just realized we're playing Curry's old teammate, Jason Tatum. He's a Piston right now. Here's Tatum with it. He's going to pull a three and knock it down. Are we really going to lose to Jason Tatum? Out to Filawoski. Oh my God, it's a steal from Mikel Bridges. And Darius Garland is out on Curry. Good defense, but it's good. Curry, six seconds. Flipowski's gonna pull a three. Buckets! Five seconds left on the clock. Three seconds left on the clock. Darius Garland pulls a deep three. It's off. Steph with two seconds. With one second, pulls a tough mid-range, and it's a miss! And the Pistons advance. The Heat lose in the conference finals. And after 18 years in the league, Damian Lillard retires at the age of 39, and he had an unbelievable career. Three-time champion, he was an MVP in 2015, he was a finals MVP in 2016, 13-time All-Star, but we're not done yet, as we gotta finish Stephen Curry's career first. With Jimmy Butler regressing in age, and Stephen Curry also as well, the Miami Heat finished 14th in the Eastern Conference, Steph drops to an 88 overall, sadly missing the playoffs in back-to-back years. Stephen Curry returns home for one more year in Portland at the age of 39, and I'm assuming this is going to be his last season. And at the age of 40, Stephen Curry finally retires. One-time NBA champion, four-time MVP, one-time finals MVP, and a 14-time All-Star, five-team, first-team All-NBA. Let me know in the comments who had a better career, Steph or Damian Lillard? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out these two videos on the screen. Make sure to like and subscribe. Peace, boys.